A highly contagious avian flu has migrated to Texas from the north for the first time in history, leaving poultry farmers worried for their birds. KTAB's Tyler Henderson spoke with a lifelong poultry farmer about her concern for her birds. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> He's going to run across the top there. There's seldom a quiet moment at Jackie Bullard's home. I'm an animal lover all around, so um, having, the, having the chickens, it's something to keep my mind occupied, and it's also self-efficient. From the crow of her favorite rooster, Lavender, to the call of one of her guinea fowl. Bullard's love for raising birds has grown since she was a little girl. Now that I have kids, I have three kids of my own, and I just kind of wanted them to experience that. It's a very... It can be a very peaceful thing. However, worry overcame Bullard as the thought of losing her feathered family members became a reality. One of the first thoughts that came to mind was knowing that if one of my birds or my neighbor's birds tested positive for the avian flu, all of our flock would have to be culled. And as a highly contagious pathogenic avian flu hit Texas for the first time in history. That's a scary thought. There's a lot of time and money invested to this and I can guarantee you I don't make that money back if I was to sell their eggs. Taylor County Extension Agent Steve Estes says to take extra sanitary measures when dealing with your birds or others. You want to sanitize maybe your shoes or boots um, before you you know step them back on your property or vice versa. And be mindful of their interactions with wild birds around water and feed. If you have like a chicken coop or something like that you can shut them up in or let them out or be them up where you let them out. With years of time and money put into her birds. We'd be left with a shell of do we start over, you know, do we, do we want to start over with this and risk this again. Jackie will do whatever it takes to keep her birds safe and healthy. In Abilene with coverage you can count on Tyler Henderson, KTAB News. Thank you, Tyler. Estes says any spread could slow down within the next couple of months as the migration season comes to an end, but it could pick back up in the fall.